by the way, I have to, uh, this is the continuation of the illegal aliens mafia research uh, regarding how they uh, steal the government benefits from the citizens, from U.S. citizens, and uh, then assassinate them after they steal uh, all the government benefits, their identities and social security, social security numbers and sell, sell them to illegals. Again, um, this is a notice for the Medicaid for Luisa Oyarsun. Um, this, uh, incidentally, is the same number from uh, the Westchester County the Department of Social Services Medicaid, fake Medicaid, which never worked because her Medicaid has been uh, sold to illegals for the last uh, 12 years, approximately. And uh, Kevin McGuire has certainly uh, sold it to illegals and illegal aliens mafia members. Uh, and this is a notice from the Department of Social Services at 1 Murray Hill Drive, Mount Morris, New York, 14510. Um, this is a notice that says, this is to inform you that you have met your excess uh, income liability and are, uh, and are being provided coverage as follows. Basically, uh, she submitted uh, $1,440 worth of bills, medical bills, or more, and they connected her Medicaid uh, for the next six months. If she submitted uh, $200, $240 of bills, then she would be connected for one month. That's the way it works, the spend down uh, with the Medicaid, in a nutshell. The notice, the uh, notice number is U24A4Q6305. Okay, and then um, the case worker is Ra uh, Barb Dutton, Barbara Dutton, I think. This is the phone number, 585-243-7300. The unit worker is 91. Uh, and uh, again, this is... Uh, a false uh, documentation because this Medicaid has never worked and will never work because it's a fake Medicaid. It doesn't even have the card doesn't even have uh, Luisa Oyarsun's uh, picture on it. Uh, and um, I just spoke to to Luisa Oyarsun's illegal alias mafia doctor, Dr. Libu, uh, in uh, Geneseo, New York. And um, she didn't want to come to the phone. She told her um, assistants or her secretaries to tell us that uh, she couldn't prescribe the medication for Luisa Oyarsun, the medication that Luisa Oyarsun didn't get for the last five years and virtually left her with, uh, with no right hip because of the osteoporosis and now she cannot walk as she used to um, and she needs a wheelchair, a chair to take a shower in and another chair to uh, move around her, her uh, trailer home. Uh, after sh uh, the illegal aliens mafia stole her uh, half a million dollars home. But anyways, this Medicaid and this notice is false because this Medicaid doesn't, it's not a, a good Medicaid, it's a fake Medicaid. It has never worked and it will, it will never work. I spoke to the pharmacy, the pharmacy claims that she has uh, Medicaid that I see it on the screen, but they did not give me any documentation that shows that. And, um, Luisa Oyarsun, um, uh, Luisa Oyarsun's doctor uh, received uh, a fax which shows that uh, a list of medication, her medication, that are only covered by her New York State trained Medicaid, and she claims she never received it, although we have a receipt that shows she did. She claims that, uh, her staff claims that she got sick, that she went home, and that, therefore the uh, medication has not been called uh, today or yes, or, or um, uh, it will not be called tomorrow. But in reality, the problem is that the Medicaid is not, this Medicaid that they say is, is good, is not. Uh, and the pharmacy apparently uh, told the illegal aliens mafia member uh, Diane Dane and Commissioner of the Department of Social Services that they need to receive payment for the medication otherwise they will not give the medications to Luisa Oyarsun which are more than uh, 12 medications if I'm not mistaken that are only covered with uh, her 
New York State straight Medicaid. Now that we have that down, we understand that. I wanted to show you that uh, Luisa Oyasun just received notification from her prescription drug plan. The prescription drug plan for Luisa Oyarsun uh, says that they will not, uh, under any circumstances, cover uh, any more of the medications for Luisa Oyarsun. Why? Because they are uh, owed um, about $417 and they are not uh, going to continue to cover the medications without being paid. If Luisa Oyarsun, in fact, had the Medicaid, then the Medicaid, uh, the New York State will uh, pay for the that $417 uh, of prescription drug plan, uh, which it should have been paid in the last uh, 14 or 15 months, but it was not paid because her New York State uh, straight Medicaid was being sold to illegals and illegal aliens mafia members. And uh, the uh, uh, extra help for this citizen, Luisa Oyarsun, an elderly citizen dying of cancer. Uh, her extra help was sold also to the illegals using her identity and social security numbers. Uh, sold to them by the Department of Social Services Commissioner, the Social Security Administration Office's uh, employees, and the Centers for Medicaid and Me Medicare and Medicaid Services across the country, which is shameful because um, she should have had her Medicaid uh, and that way uh, she would not be dying of cancer. It's so, such a shame. Today is uh, June 6th, 2016, and again, this is only a sample case uh, of millions of cases in, in the uh, United States of citizens who die uh, for lack of medical care and also for uh, lack of medication since their uh, medical insurance is sold to illegals and illegal aliens mafia members in the country. Again, uh, Luisa Oyarsun's um, uh, plan says it's not going to cover the medications anymore.